Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for CA Foundation course, Business Mathematics, Sequence and Series, Part 1. Please pay your attention on the board. What is sequence? A set of numbers arranged in a definite order. There are two types, finite and infinite. Terms of a sequence are denoted by A1, A2, A3 or T1, T2, T3. That is the subscript always a natural number. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Subscripts denote the position of the terms. That is T2, that is the second term. T3, that, that is the third term. Denotes the position of the terms. Now pay your attention on the example. 3, 5, 7 up to 21 by adding 2. Adding 2 with the previous term. First term is 3 by adding 2, 5. 5 plus 2 that is 7. In this way we are getting this sequence. And n term of the sequence that is a n equal to a n minus 1 that is the previous term plus 2. Next example 8, 5, 2. By subtracting 3 a n equal to a n minus 1 minus the previous term minus 3. 2, 6, 8, 54. By multiplying 3. 2 multiplying by 3 that is 6. 6 multiplying by 3 that is 18. In this way we are getting this sequence. By multiplying half, 1 into minus half, that is minus half, minus half into minus half, that is 1 by 4. In this way, we are getting this sequence. And n term minus half into a to the power a n minus 1, previous term, into. And here, the next natural number. Squaring the next natural number, 1, that is next natural number, that is 2, 2 square, next natural number, that is 3, 3 square, that is 9, next natural number, that is 4, 4 square, that is 16. By squaring the next natural number, a n equal to n square, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, the prime numbers, this is the prime numbers only. There is no nth term formula. Next, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 in this way. By adding the previous two terms, previous two terms, that is 1, 1 single, that is 1 and 2, that is 3, 3 and 2, that is 5, 5 into 3, that is 8, 8 into 5, that is 13. In this way, we are getting this sequence. Now, we need not always have an explicit formula for the nth term. For nth term, there is no explicit formula. You must remember this. Nobody has found the formula for the nth prime number. For prime number, there is no formula. Now, series. The terms of the sequence are connected by plus sign. Plus sign. Here is no sign. A1, A2, A3. Here is plus, plus, plus. This is the difference between sequence and series. Without plus, that is sequence. With plus, that is series. That you have to remember. SN, that is the sum of first n terms. SN equal to a1, A2, A3 up to An. This is the summation. And this Greek letter that is sigma, that is symbol of summation, n number of terms n and r equal to 1. 1, 2, 3. This is the symbolic representation of the summation. I think it is clear. You have to remember this. Now, sums. Write the first four terms of the sequence defined by this solution. Here, a n equal to 4 n square plus 3. That is given. Putting 1, 2, 3, 4, we get. In place of n, we are putting 1. 
a1 that is the first term 4 in place of n we are putting 1 1 square plus 3 by simplifying we are getting 7 similarly by putting 2 we are getting 19 then putting 3 and simplifying we are getting 39 and putting 4 and simplifying we are getting 67 the first four terms of the sequence are 7 19 30 9 and 67. I think it is clear. Next, find the 20th term of the sequence defined by a n equal to this. Here, a n equal to this given. Here, 20th term, putting n equal to 2, we get. In place of n, we have to put 2. That is a n, that is a 20, in place of n 20, in place of n 20, Divided by 20 plus 3 by simplifying, we are getting 360 divided by 23. Therefore, 20 term of the sequence is 360 by 23. If you follow the step attentively, then it will be clear. And if you feel difficulties, then you must go through the solution again. And next time you will get more video on sequence. Thank you everybody.